Hey everybody, here we are at day two of CAPT, and I'm with the outgoing president uh, from this year, Julia Shen. And what we'd really love to know is your thoughts on some of the highlights from this meeting so far. Great, thank you for the question. It's honestly been my complete pleasure to be the CAP president over the last year. And I can't say enough great things about the board and what they've been able to do and what we've been able to accomplish. So this year's conference, you know, we really wanted to aim it um, to find solutions for patients, or at least give patients the the, the place um, to voice any of their concerns and have those meaningful conversations with other stakeholders or interested parties. So one goal of ours was to have um, at least one patient representative in every panel to have those discussions. And I think we were able to do that really well. You know, we cover topics anywhere from you know, rare disease, oncology. We just had a panel on um, autoimmune type 1 diabetes, and it goes to show like some of these infrastructural challenges, right? And we know that th these challenges have lasted forever, but how that reflects to the patient, um, I think that's that's been a really big eye opener during this conference, especially for me. And I hope, you know, when I pass on the presidency next year and even in future years, we continue this tradition, continue having these conversations, and maybe one day we'll have a solution. Well, congratulations. It's been a terrific session uh, today and yesterday, and we certainly saw the patient perspective coming through. So uh, thank you very much for uh, the work in the past year, and we'll see you in the future. Thank you. Hey, everyone. So I'm here with Adam, our incoming president for uh, CAPT. Uh, we just wrapped this uh, iteration of it. Terrific uh, meeting so far. Just wanted to get your thoughts, any takeaways from this meeting, and any thoughts you're looking forward to uh, for next year. Uh, well, uh, thanks for, for having me uh, on your show. Uh, yeah, I guess maybe I'll share my vision for, for CAP moving forward. I, I see CAP as a place where uh, all of us, uh, whether it's people living with disease, uh, government, HTA, uh, researchers, clinicians, um, industry, consultants, we can all come together and discuss challenging topics, discuss the need for good quality data to inform decisions, um, and just have these discussions and debates, but in a you know in a very respectful and uh, and helpful way to improve the, the health of Canadians. Well, I've I've been a long time cap person. I had a little twenty year hiatus in between the the, the two, but uh, I'd say you're well on the way. This was an incredibly broad group of individuals here, and I think the topics that are being discussed they're real world, they're topical, and they are looking forward rather than looking back. So. Congratulations. Uh, any any one thought from this meeting? Any the, the one to take away for people? Oh, that is so hard. But I I do like to, uh, all of the sessions. If you look through the, it's still live, like the, the list for the day, all the panels. There's a good theme through all of that. Um, but I like how it tied together at the end around the implementation. Like you can talk about decisions mm -hmm. and trying to find value. Uh, in therapeutics and getting into people, but if we don't actually get them to people, then it's all moot. You lose it all. So wonderful, Adam. Thanks so much. Thank Good you. luck. Hi there again. We're at the last day of the cap meeting, and we actually were able to finally pull aside Ian. He's like a really, really in demand man, so it was really <laughs> challenging grabbing him. But Ian, uh, you know, we spoke to Julia, who's the outgoing president. Yeah. You as well as part of the board. I'm Absolutely. curious. Just get your take on, there was a lot more emphasis on this patient-centered theme around getting the patient's voice into the overall, I guess, process, maybe the best way of thinking Absolutely. about it. Like, well, what, what is, for you, what is patient-centered? What does that mean to you? Yeah. When we were putting this uh, whole conference together, do you want me to hold it? Oh, yeah, you can do that. Sure, yeah, I can hold that, too. Yeah. When we were uh, putting the whole conference together, um, that was one of our central... Um, core themes to have is to ensure that there was a patient on every panel if possible um, to also incorporate some of their co content um, in the panel discussions even the, the development of the topics um, we always bring in um, and one of our board members actually is um, taking it from the patient perspective as well so we ensure that that was throughout the entire planning process and it came out through uh, what you saw uh, so far in the, in the past two days so to me, it's just getting involved early, uh, making sure that we're speaking to as many, and we want to be able to reach out to as many as possible, um, those who are either patients themselves or representing patient groups, um, to get involved. And um, again, from beginning to end, to be part of this conference.
Thanks. So if I have to maybe summarize that bit is that, you know, the call out action is really patient advocacy, advocacy groups. You want them to be part of the conversation and especially the next meetings and the following meetings. You want more and more of them to be part of this conversation. So thank you very much for all that you do, Ian. Thanks, Appreciate Lester. it. Thanks a lot.